What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. You tell your girlfriend that she's getting fat. Girls Honestly, fat. to be honest with you, just tell it, her she's becoming a big back. Big back, big back. <laughs> that always goes over well. In my current situation, I would tell one of the kids to say it. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> that's what I would do. A two in one. Getting what needs to be heard said and teaching his son how to deal with sensitive issues and women. Hey, seriously, if you just tell me whose this is, I'm not going to be it's upset. It's yours, I'm telling you. There's it's no not other mine. Girl <laughs> she had that ball filter on. Bro's next move should have been to tell her it was a bracelet. Honestly, it's so f up that nowadays when I tell people I did literally nothing all day, I just laid in bed, I just laid down and flobbered and took it easy and chilled. Flobbered? They say, you're lazy. You are. Get up. Go to work. That's bad. That's wrong. But if I told people that I was doing nothing all day in 1500s Italy, really anywhere during the Renaissance, the greatest painters the world has stupid. Are we in the 1500s? Has ever known would go what? You're telling me there's a redhead with a little tummy doing nothing, just lying. A little on tummy. Mm, I don't know if I believe that. Round. Where is she? I will immortalize her. There is something holy and beautiful in this image that I must capture. I don't know. Are y'all getting holy and beautiful? I'm not. That's not what I'm getting. Where did those values go? Nothing makes me laugh like a delusional woman. I bet Leonardo da Vinci would have lost it too if he heard this redhead with a little tummy yapping. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Spit your teeth out there. That is embarrassing, bro. And that's why I always say karma is best served piping hot. <laughs> That guy over there just smacked my ass. What? Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, what? Wait, what? <laughs> to be fair, she wanted a reaction, and I'd call confusion a valid mm, reaction. What makes you happy? What makes you wake up every day and want to do what you do? My cat. You who? My cat. Pathetic. I honestly, like, as of right now, I love my family, of course, I do. But my cat, he's like, you know, the closest thing I have to like a little child. And that is why I wake up every day, you know, to feed him, go home. I look forward to seeing him. <sighs> yeah, that is who makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Why didn't it pop in? I'm going to keep it all the way tall. I hate cats. I ain't going to lie to you. That'd be, I that'd be too. a problem. You feel that me? That would have been horrific. Um, they sneaky? No, they're no. not. This guy's a good looking guy, but I absolutely cannot stand these short shirts. They, you know I mean, I'm not like they don't, I don't, I don't know. There's something about the short shirts. I, like chat, let me know if you like them. I just don't like this fashion trend. I just, I just don't like cats personally. Even the host kept giving her the side eye, hoping she'd realize that that was too. an insane answer. We always pray at home before we eat. Yeah, but the guy here, he knows how to cook. <laughs> but now he's praying for a quiet meal. <laughs> That's a robbery case that'll That's never good. hold up in court. You're done eating. The plate needs to go in the sink. I thought I got married six years ago. Run. Well, he better so just stay on that him. couch because there's no chance he's sleeping in the bed tonight. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. 
And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. The shirt is Vivian Westwood. Uh, the bag is Zara. And the shoes are actually custom made. <laughs> <laughs> Where did what she... What the hell is that? <laughs> She's got the circus at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Even fine clown shoes like that. I thought jesters went out of style in the 12th century. Today, I'm going to show my son how a bra really works. Wow, those are some nice looking eggs. They sure are. Go ahead and open it up. Aw, oh, there's just tater tots inside. <laughs> Life lessons with things you can find at home. Good job, Dad. There's just tater tots. So I was having trouble starting my husband's truck this morning, and I had to call him for some assistance. And he said, babe, have you tried turning the key? Brutal. <laughs> uh, Stupid. So if I never post again, it's because I'm in prison! You know, she never really did confirm or deny if she actually did I try turning. I hate women to think they're being goofy and funny, but it's just so cringe. The key. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those. Y'all remember those twos? The ear, ear, I remember those. Always try to find the light in every situation. <laughs> That's good, she bro. probably won't think That's it's so as funny, good. though. So, honey, what did it take to land the perfect wife? Well, let me know when I do it. Lower my standards. Get your right now. <laughs> His laugh says it all. You gotta love this couple. What's an item under $20 that... that uh, the Timu, uh, Jason Momoa? It dramatically improved your life. The pen I signed my divorce papers with. <laughs> Brutal. Ha, ha, ha! Take that, Jessica! <laughs> you see, the pen won't leave him for another man, either. Got it all on camera. So stupid. Stupid. Got it all on camera. I got it all on camera. Oh. All this instead of just paying sixty-three dollars, right? That's what I'm saying. That's like a sixty-seven. All this Jeep. instead of just paying sixty-three dollars, right? That's crazy work. All of this instead of paying sixty-three dollars. All of this instead of just paying $63. And when you ask her how it happened, she'll say she doesn't know. It all just happened. The way you're talking about women in their 30s is absolutely disgusting. What yeah, did I say? Like, no, tell me okay. specifically Honestly, what I said. They have, they have baggage. They have high bodies. Like, you're they making do. these blanket general statements about women that's absolutely disgusting. I've disgusting. Saying it, saying it more harsh doesn't make it mean more. <laughs> Here's what I love about generalizations. People think that just because a generalization hurts somebody's feeling that feelings that the generalization is not true the exception doesn't make the rule it's still a generalization most women in their 30s do have a higher body count most women in their 30s do have a lot of trauma i got a buddy who's going through something right now he's dating or he was dating a chick who was older than him and she basically broke it off with him because he got offered something uh, from another girl and he told her and was being transparent. She's like, oh, I just can't stand that. It's just giving me flashbacks of trauma. This is why I always say, ladies, if you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. It's, it's a prime example of that right there. If she love like and healing, I'm about to leave because I don't want to be around you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you leave, can I just add, I just want to ask you one question. Do you think that women in their 20s generally have less baggage than women in their 30s? Yes or no? Uh, it's possible, yes. Hold on, before you say your thing, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, as you get older, you go through more experiences and some of those are positive experiences, some of those are negative experiences. So both men and women accrue trauma and baggage mm -hmm. as they age. It's just the reality of being older so yes, I'd rather date somebody, a younger woman who's maybe 25, for example. Don't get me wrong. I dated women older than me. So it's not like I'm exclusively going after like college girls. But what I am saying is if they want to date me and I want to date them, I don't see any problem with dating a 25 year old. How are they going to argue that younger yeah. people don't have less baggage? Yeah, just way less baggage. Well, fellas, would you rather tell your feelings to a brick wall or to a woman? Brick wall. That's a good question. Brick wall. Let's look at the comments. The brick wall not gonna cut me off mid-sentence. 
Also, the brick wall. Oh, oh, yeah, and the brick wall is not going to gaslight you and be like, well, I know you're feeling that, but I'm feeling this. Oh, why men or you, you're asking about the fact that men don't really know how to handle or keep a really good woman. Okay. Right. What? So you were married. How long have you been divorced? Um, three years. Okay. How long were you married? Six years. Okay. Married six years. Okay. Um, who filed? She did. I did. Of course. Knew it. What was the reason? He cheated. He had a baby with a co-worker. Did he ever tell you why he cheated? Um, no. Do you think he was a good man? No. If he would have never cheated. <laughs> you didn't think he was a good man? Then why did you marry him? <laughs> For six years. He did. Would you thought he was a good man? Um... No. <laughs> Just proves that she never really wanted so a husband. So dumb, dude. Then why'd you marry him? Sitting here talking about him, you married him. My son will never, ever be paying any of y'all daughter's rent, electricity bill, um, phone bill, or any of that type of shit while he's dating your daughters, okay? There are stages of development. You come in this world as a girl, you develop into a woman, you hopefully become a wife and then a mother. And when you become it's a giving single mom, that's what it's giving right here. A wife, yeah. That's when your husband hopefully will be the provider and take care of everything in terms of that household and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully. And that's exactly what I'm raising my son to be prepared to do. If y'all think that my son is going to be walking around here dating women and paying their damn rents and everything else like he's somebody's gump, you must be crazy. Gump? And the only way he would do it is if his father got into him and told him, hey, if they want to be treated like tricks, trick they ass. You understand? And I don't want them to have to be like that. But know this, you better be telling your daughters that if they out here talking trick language, they're going to attract tricks. In a lot of cultures, that's why when them girls hit womanhood, they don't leave their parents' house until they hit wife. Because well, and, and you attract what you are. I agree. The father is still responsible for them girls until they hit wife. You muff with your sprinkle sprinkle think that while your daughters is out here supposed to be women taking care of themselves, that our sons are supposed to be taking care of them. Mm -hmm. Nah, my son will not be taking care of their while he's dating them. Okay. I love it based now that's a good mother so based but I, it, at the end of the day though i don't think a woman can raise a boy to be a man chat let me chat let me know what you think do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man i just think it takes a man to raise a boy to be a man that's just my opinion whoa 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 <laughs> with a screaming reaction saying woo 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 not into all that thank you appreciate you i eat matter in a guy yes you guys judge based on something guys can't change i judge based on unnatural beauty so we're gonna see what you guys look like without makeup i'm not wearing makeup i have sunglasses on got him whatever we got him. cap <laughs> the lie detective determined that was a lie oh! she said that while slowly backing away from that makeup wipe so i went on a date last night oh my god tell me all about it he's divorced like three okay. times he has five kids he doesn't see. Okay. He's a convicted felon. Wait, felony for what? Homicide in the third degree, I think. Okay, great. What's the problem? Well, he has an android. Oh my god, girl, run. <laughs> a week later, she'd been thinking if there <laughs> were any signs he wasn't the right guy. My name is uh, Joshua Johnson. I'm actually a doctor. I am a therapist, and I was wondering if I could maybe help you with your problems. Um, no. Diagnosed a bit. And the prognosis <laughs> says that it's not looking good that she'll recover. So, so everybody keep asking me about big back, big back. Uh, where's my six kids daddy at? Let me let y'all know. So my first baby daddy, which was my first love, and he's the father of my oldest. He has transitioned from Tony to Tracy. And he is now living in Atlanta, Georgia, dressed fully as a female. And he does not want to have anything to do with his child. My second baby daddy was kicked in the chest by a horse. It gave him an instant heart attack and he died. My third baby daddy, just a deadbeat, 
I didn't know that he was married. And when I told him I was pregnant, he confessed to her what the situation was. And all that, she went with it. And now we're just waiting on the DNA test to come back so that they can pay child support. Well, she's going to pay child support because, as I stated, he a deadbeat. He ain't got no job. And by them being legally married, she works to bring in the income. She will be the one that be paying me child support. My fourth baby daddy decided he wanted to be a pirate and go rob the boat freights and shit like that. So he is now serving 20 years. When he gets out, my child will be 25. And my last two kids have the same father. And he is 72 years old, living in a nursing home with dementia. Hate to be the one to break it Bro, to she her. she just let anybody cheese in her. How do you have that many men? Many men. That is so many baby daddies. Five, six baby daddy. Oh my, what is this? Looking like one of those um, troll dolls, you know, when we were kids in that room could have been praying for this little girl a few minutes earlier yeah what in the he double her hair spray is that? called the boyfriend rip that's the karen cut that's the omega lord karen cut dogs literally and that's opposed to figuratively because a woman will be with a man for five six seven sometimes even ten years begging for this man to put a ring on it and question that should be being asked here is first of all why is she hanging around that long for a man that obviously isn't going to propose not to mention, she could have proposed herself. But all in all, it's just showing a lack of self-esteem. And he goes, no, like, I'm just not ready, I'm not ready. She goes, no, it wasn't that he wasn't ready, per se. It's that he wasn't ready to marry her. Facts. You know what? F off, I'm giving you the ultimatum. You either marry me or we break things off. Majority of the time, men will go, you know what? We're just going to break things off then. And within one year, a single year, this man will be engaged to another woman. Like I said, and I'll say it again. He just wasn't ready to marry her. You. Yeah. So pay attention, ladies. Most men know very early on in the stages of a relationship if they actually want to marry the woman that they're dating. So don't sit around waiting for years and begging for a man to marry you that has already made up his mind a long time ago that he doesn't want to. She's screaming. I agree with this take. Chat, let me know, though. Like, I believe guys know pretty early on whether they want to marry your chick marry a chick or not at least for me I, I knew Cass had the potential so that's why I was like yeah I'll stick with her things husbands do not want to hear their wife say come here you know I've been thinking Ooh, I hate that one that means your day off just got canceled Facts. and you're going to end up in a store mm -hmm. I hate Trust when women me. think I'm fine mm -hmm. she's not fine false she wasn't fine before she said that she's not going to be fine after she said that she's not going to be fine for a while yeah and you're going to find out in excruciating detail just how fine she really isn't. Mm -hmm. Can you come here for a minute, please? Ooh, None of that, that minute is going to be good when you get there. It's going to be the longest 60 seconds of your life. Facts. I didn't sleep well. Mm -hmm. Do not tell her you did. Do not tell her you didn't, because then she's going to think you're competing with her. Just it's not always the one-up war. Ah, oh, God, I slept so good. Why well, I, I slept like crap, so you can do stuff for me. Your head and tell her you're sorry. And maybe even buy her some flowers. <laughs> You're wearing that? Just go change. Do not try to defend yourself. Do not try to defend your fashion choices. True, though. Just go change. That outfit you have on is never going to see the outside anyway, so why even bother trying to defend it? My man's got good points, man. He is, <laughs> that's something I've, I've heard all of those. He's spot on, dude. <laughs> You're making $180,000 a year. Why aren't these children on any type of health insurance? Well, well, the profession that I have, you know, there's no insurance offered. And I mean, well, it doesn't. Are you a stripper? Shots fired! Have to be. You're considered a independent contractor, right? Right. That means you can get private health insurance. Uh-huh. Well, Stupid. Did that, you know that? That's, I wasn't really, I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. How to find private health insurance? Right. Insurance for what? I mean. Well, Dental, vision, medical. Are you, are we, is this a grown woman with children? This is a child. Child support for what? Because no. you're definitely getting ready to pay. How about no, that? Wait. You came here to waste my time. And he's talking about my kids being teased at school and all of that. No, he's the one being teased. He's the one that is brainwashing them to believe this stuff and want to turn my kids against me right. because I don't want to be with him any longer. That's the ultimate problem. The memory we're getting ready to make because I made my ruling is making your monthly 
um, child support payment, $2,576. <laughs> That's how much you got to pay. No, that's how nah. much you got to pay. <laughs> Thank you, Euron. The children live with him. <laughs> Thank you, Euron. I don't see the celebration. Thank you. Wait a minute. What, what happened to the celebration? Because you're the one that's paying that $2,576. The children live with him. He should not pay you anything. The victim? Bro, that's so funny. She really thought she was going to come up on a bag. I love Judge Vonda. For cooking, men or women? Women, are you serious? <laughs> All right, name a famous chef. Go on. Go on, Ramsey. Go on. Exactly. Who is known better for cooking, men or women? Women. 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 Name a famous chef, quickly. Gordon Ramsey. Uh, yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I thought women were known better. Oh, okay. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Who is known better for cooking, men or women? Women. Women. Name a famous chef, quickly. Uh, um, Gordon Ramsey. Exactly. Can't blame them. <laughs> he cooked them. I love it. I absolutely love it. He straight cooked. This is so good. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's great. Yeah. Man, leave that man alone, man. If y'all don't leave Cody Ford alone, dog, leave Cody Ford alone. He doesn't give a fuck. Cody does not care. He's living his best life single. I told y'all he did not like that girl, bro. He didn't like her like that. He got tired of having a camera in his face all day. He just wanted to play football and come home and just chill. Bro, I don't know if you guys have ever went and got your toes done or anything like that, but bro, it is a vibe. I actually really, really enjoy going sometimes with Cass to just go get, you know, just go get a little foot massage, man. There's like nothing wrong with getting a good old little footy, a little foot job, you know? Um, I actually really enjoy it. Going up there every once in a while. I like massages too, but I, I like, I like, I like personal hygiene care. That's cool for me. I'm, I'm like a big fan of that know that Saudi Arabia was the safest country in the world up until 2018? For real? I did not know. Yeah, check it out. According to Wikipedia, until June, June 2018, Saudi Arabia was the only country in the world in which women were forbidden from driving motor vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that stare down at the end. She is not happy. Uh, she walked straight into that. Please explain why America uses Fahrenheit and not... Now, sweetheart, I, I don't want to give you misinformation, <laughs> but I think... Is that little ball headed baby on PBS? <laughs> He's talking about that kid, Caillou. The, the clip is that one day on December 25th, you give each other gifts and you celebrate the birth of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're thinking of Christmas. Yeah, no, the this is that math subject we had to take in high school. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's called calculus. Uh, is that stuff you use to grease your pan before you cook something. Crisco. You're thinking of Crisco, uh, <laughs> the thing that the caterpillar goes into before it becomes a, a butterfly. No, 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 you're thinking of a chrysalis. No, oh, a chrysalis. Is Christopher's last name. The guy who sailed over to America on the Mayflower, he sailed the ocean blue. No, 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 that's Columbus. Columbus are the specialized shoes that you wear outside when playing sports on turf. No, what cleats. you're talking about are cleats. No, sweetie, what a cirrus is, is actually those big puffy white clouds that you see in the sky. Cumulus. No, what you're thinking about are clouds. This was actually the U.S. president. Cumulus of clouds, I think, right? Ah, man, he was cooking, bro. What is this? Because it's only right. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a baby Chewbacca? Along with mugshots, this was the only time you shouldn't have smiled in a camera. I don't think women have empathy for men at all. Because no, here's the difference. As a man, I have to understand you to attract you. I have to be charming. I have to be charismatic. I have to be interesting and have a bunch of witty responses and be able to be so that you're attracted to me. But at the same time, when I bring you back to my place, it needs to be clean. It needs to be in a certain manner. It needs to be decored a certain way. I need to create a vibe. As some of you guys said earlier, I need the vibe. What's the vibe exactly? The vibe is making you feel comfortable enough. Mm -hmm arouse you right to go be able, be able to get what i want intimacy wise so i would argue men if they want to be successful with women have to understand women yes. but on the other hand you guys don't have to understand us at all you guys oh, all yeah, have to don't. understand what you want in the man but you don't need to have to understand the man and i would argue that's why so many of you guys are single no. because you guys don't understand men if i if you did more of you would be married more of you would be in long-term relationships more of you would have children but most of you are not why because modern women about modern men they just care about what they want and if the man doesn't have what they want they leave if men started treating I women mean, like so they true should... dude like if you can make a girl comfortable that was kind of my superpower in college is, is like getting around people 
especially women and making them feel comfortable in my presence, like making a girl laugh, making her feel comfortable. If once again, I always say, if you can make her laugh and giggle, you can make her cheeks clap and jiggle, bro. But like the more comfortable you can make a woman quicker, the more likely she is to take her clothes off and want to hook up with you. It's just how it is. Like, so that's what I say. Get really good at being nonchalant, charismatic and confident and have witty one liners, which I'll put that in uh, the second volume of the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, which, by the way, if you haven't gotten it, please do make you irresistible to women and respected by men. It's the four pillars of a, of a complete personality that if you have all of these women will be gravitated towards you and men will also be like, wow, this is a cool dude. Um, but let's get into this clip right here. How many bodies you got? On zero. <gasps> On years, and she still didn't get the hint, huh? How many bodies you got? On zero. <gasps> yeah. You got him. Where would you take me on a first date if you could do anything and money was no object? Maybe something chill, just mini golf. <laughs> I love it, mini golf. I take you, Mickey D's. <laughs> Would you rather, um, like a hundred dollars or like a hundred bucks? A hundred dollars is a lot of money. They're laughing to mask the pain of a man it. who's I not interested well, when in women only know how to lead with their sexuality and then they get next to for it. They really don't know how to react. Loki free. Sit. Wait. Free. Let's go back to this vibe thing of making women feel comfortable. Here's some tips for you guys. So what I would say is a, a minimalist decor is always good because it always seems clean and you really don't have to do anything to like clean things. I never liked maximalism. I always loved minimalism because also minimalism's cheap. <laughs> So what I would suggest for a guy is if you do have your own place, this is what I had when I, when I had a bachelor pad and it was like, bro, chicks totally dug it. So of course have a, have a sectional couch. So like a, an area where you can lay down kind of, and then like maybe a two or three seater, have a TV that's mounted, have a sound bar. So there's some bass in it and then buy those led strips. And I'm talking, put them everywhere. Every single place you can in your house, put them under the kitchen counters, behind the TV, under walkways, in the bathroom, in your in your bedroom. Because what you can do is you can make your whole house turn a certain color. And then if you get the Govee brand, G-O-V, I think it's G-O-V-E-E. -E, that's what I have like um, uh, kind of around here. I'll show you guys. Like I have them around here. Like I can change these to any color, um, but I just keep them off. But you can set those to a certain time at like 8 p.m. They just turn red. And imagine you're sitting there watching something with a girl and all the lights are like white or blue. And then 8 p.m. Everything just turns red. Like, bro, the vibe is going to be made. Girls were, girls would come over at certain times and call them ho lights. Like, oh, you got the ho lights. But then they would already know what time it is. They know it's time for smush mush. So if you can do that, set that vibe, have it minimalistic and then have your bed made. Have like some silk pillowcases for you know your girl have some artwork around the around the room but like basically when a girl comes over you just want her to feel extremely comfortable that's that's really all you're trying to do but and you do that through your energy as well like poke fun at them treat girls like they're one of your best buddies like one of your chubby chubby friends you poke fun at him you give him a hard time if you do that the more you do that the more she's going to feel like your buddy buddy with her and then she's going to want to hook up with you but if you just treat her like she's on a pedestal and you're like idolize her and you're like oh baby you're just so great and i just think you're so beautiful like don't give a lot of compliments dude be very minimalistic in the compliments don't give a ton of them because the more compliments you give the more she's gonna be like well, why is he giving me so many compliments she's like i'm not that great because most women especially if they're really pretty are super insecure i'm a single mom my choice all right let's get into the reddit this one's from um Excol from a chick named Alexandra. Oh, this is a post from Alexandra K. I'm a single mom by choice. Single mom by choice. Of course, people ask me if I use the same donor when they find out I'm pregnant again. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, my reproductive endocrinologist is the first person I call when I'm ready. Single mom. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, people tell me they were going to do this too, but then they got into a relationship. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, people ask me for my embryos as if I signed up for a never-ending pay-it-forward club. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, random men tell me they would have been my sperm donor when they find out. No thanks. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, people ask me if they can see what my donor looks like or if he has more vials available so they can use him. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, I'm going to tell my kids how they got here. It's not a secret. I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, I blame all her weird traits on my donor, even though they're actually just like me. 
I'm a single mom by choice. Of course, people ask me about the dad, even though I say donor over and over and over again. I'm a single mom by choice. What is this phenomenon? Stupid. <sighs> What is this phenomenon? Why? Ladies, why are we doing this? Let's get into some stats of why this is horrible. Loki, go to your place. Go, I need my co-star. Let's get into some stats of why this is absolutely dreadful and horrible. 60% of all youth unalivings are from fatherless homes. 90% of all homeless and runaway children, fatherless homes. 85% of children who show behavior disorders, fatherless homes. 80% of R words, anger problems. 71% of high school dropouts. 75% of all adolescent patients in chemical abuse centers. 70% of all juveniles in state operated institutions. 85% of all youth sitting in prisons right now grew up in fatherless, fatherless homes. The worst thing you could do for a kid is have a kid with a dad in the picture stop doing that please two-parent households it takes a village to raise a child if you have a young man a boy it takes a man to raise a boy or it, yes it takes a man to raise a boy it, just like it takes a woman to raise a girl stop doing this and the thing is I don't know if like chat let me know in the comments let me know what you think I see a lot of this single motherhood it's like generational like I know ladies that are close to my mom's age and their mom was a single mom now they're a single mom and then they had a daughter and now their daughter's a single mom it's like when does the cycle stop women need men and men need women you needed them to procreate why don't you need them now that you're in a relationship it's just so crazy to me we've completely lost our way the nuclear family has been broken up entirely and it's really ruining society we have so much degeneracy men are going their own way like it's just crazy to me Shout out to you guys for being in the Reddit. I think we have 66 members now. Yeah, 66 members. Shout out to you guys. If you want to post anything for me to react to, please go to reddit.com slash r slash Levi Nix. We will have those approved, and I will react to them at the end of every video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? You did? All right, man. Well, I hope you guys had a good time today. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.